right, friends, it's going to be time to get ready to start installing our spark plugs. One of the first things you want to do is, of course, open up all the spark plug boxes, and then you want to check the gap right here. The gap should be between 0.045 and 0.048. To access the spark plugs, three of them are going to be located underneath the coils along this front valve cover. The other three, on the other hand, are going to be located underneath this intake system right here, so we're going to need to remove that. With that said, you want to make sure you blow off any of the debris that's in this local area, and of course it's going to be a great idea to make sure you have a gasket that goes underneath the intake. Now obviously the front is going to be much easier than the rear, so I'm going to show you how to do the rear. Let's go ahead and get this air intake off of here. There we are. Every time you disconnect an electrical connector, inspect it. If you see any funny colors, it's corrosion and it needs to be dealt with. This looks good, so we'll set it aside. Now we're going to disconnect the throttle body right here. Disconnect this clip. Lift up on this. Get under there. There we are. Okay. Now we're going to remove this clamp right here. Slide it right up the hose. Set this aside. Let's get this off of here as well. That gives us plenty of slack. Remove this. Now behind here, we're going to remove this bolt right there and the other one right there. Now that we have those bolts off, let's continue on to removing the bolts that hold the EGR valve to this area here. Keep in mind that there is going to be a gasket that's located in between the two. Typically, it's a good idea to go ahead and replace it. There we are. Now that we have this broken free, let's continue on to removing this up here. It's a little clamp. Now we're just going to follow this down to where it connects on. You're going to find two little tabs. Essentially, you just want to kind of press that in and then press it out and away from the line. Lift this up. Set that aside. Now we're going to remove this wiring harness right here. There's a little tab. The other line right here is actually a fuel line, and we're not going to bother opening that up. Grab onto this clamp. There, remove this hose from the intake. Push that hose right off of there. Now, right down behind this area here, you're going to find a little clippy do. We want to just pop that off the intake. Pull that out of there. Now we can come up along the back side of the intake. We'll disconnect this. Let's get this off of the back of the intake here. Now that we have everything disconnected from the intake, let's go ahead and start removing it from the engine itself. You're going to find some mounting bolts. There's one up here, and then a few that come down along like this. Remove them all. Now the next thing we need to do is go ahead and remove the battery right here. That's going to give us access to the bracket that's located under this area. Start with the negative, then the positive, and then of course the hold down. Now looking down under this area, you can see one of the mounting bolts for the bracket. This is a bracket that holds the intake to, of course, the engine, so we're going to need to remove both of these bolts. There's one here, and there's one located over there where you really can't see very easily. 
There's one. Get to the second one, just go ahead and get this wiring off of the bracket. Whew. There's the second one. Now we can carefully lift up on this. When we do this, we want to be very careful not to damage our fuel line here. And you also want to be very careful not to drop anything inside of your engine intake area. Get this right out of the way. Now we can continue on by getting this coil out of the way so we can replace our spark plug. Now let's go ahead and grab onto this tab. We're going to give it a little squeeze, try to remove this. If it doesn't come off, you can just use a pick or a flathead screwdriver, carefully get underneath this area, and then separate it. Inspect it, set it aside. Remove the coil mounting bolt. Let's remove the coil. At this point, we want to definitely make sure that this is completely covered, and we're going to gently blow some air inside the tube. Now it's time to remove the spark plug. Make sure you use a specific spark plug socket. All right. There it is, friends. Do a quick comparison of your spark plugs and ensure everything looks the same. Now we can get ready for our install. Go ahead and slide the spark plug into your spark plug socket. Gently bring it down and inside the tube here. Line it up and then start it in by hand until it bottoms out. All right, that's nice and snug. All right, now let's torque this to 133 inch pounds. Now let's install our coil. We're just gonna carefully slide this in so it slides over the spark plug, bring it on down, and then we can grab our mounting bolt, we'll start it in. Let's go ahead and snug this up and torque it to 62 inch pounds. Reconnect in your wiring, listen for a click, give it a tug. At this point, the process will be the same for all the rest. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is carefully remove this. Remember, it could potentially have dirt and debris on top of it, and we don't want it to fall into the engine. After that, we're going to go ahead and clean up this area, which is the mating surface, where our intake is going to sit on top of. Make sure you get off all of this crud. Now, once you have the engine cleaned up, the next thing you want to do is think about the gasket that goes from your intake to the engine itself. Typically, it's a good idea to go ahead and replace it. If you're not replacing it for some reason, you at least need to go ahead and remove it from the intake and inspect it. Make sure it's not dry rotted and cracked, and of course, make sure it's still soft and pliable. This one feels great. Aside from that, we're going to come over to this side over here, and that's right where your EGR valve is going to be riding. You want to make sure that this area is clean and free of any debris. So I'll go ahead and sand this down, and then we can start putting it onto the car. Let's carefully slide this in and underneath our fuel line here. We want to be very careful not to damage that. Bring this down, line up all of our bolt holes as we come down. Now we'll just start in all of the bolts before we snug any of them up. Okay, once you have all of your bolts started, we're going to continue on snugging these up and then of course torquing them to manufacturer specifications. When we tighten this, we need to go in a specific order. Now we can torque these to 89 inch pounds. Now that they're all torqued, let's continue on to the second stage, which essentially is turning these an extra 45 degrees. Start right here, quarter turn. Now let's connect this in, listen for a click, give it a tug. Slide this down on here, lock it in, give it a tug. Lock these in, connect in your throttle body, lock it in, plug in your map sensor, secure the wiring. Let's go ahead and slide this hose on here and then of course clamp it down. Let's get our EGR back on the bracket here. All right, 
that snug. Give it a little extra there. You can send the other one. Torque this to 18 foot pounds. Now the next thing we need to do is put on our two mounting bolts that hold the bracket to the intake. Start them both in, then we'll snug them up. All right, we've got them both started. Now we're just gonna go ahead and tighten it and then give it a little extra. Now we've got our two screws for the upper part of the bracket here. Go ahead and start them in there and then snug them up. All right, that's nice and tight. Let's plug in the EGR. And then of course, make sure the wire is secure. Let's get this hose on here. Take this, click it in right there. Slide the battery in here. Now let's grab our battery hold down, slide it right down in there. We'll check to make sure it's secure. Let's go ahead and reconnect our positive wire. We'll snug it up. Now we can get this in here. On the back side, there's two ears. You want to make sure that you slide those in and under. Bring it down, latch it in. Let's connect our hose up along here. Slide it right in. Tighten your clamp. Make sure that's secure. Let's connect this hose right along the back side there. Press it in, make sure it's secure. Now we're gonna do this hose. Reconnect in your mass airflow sensor. Listen for a click, give it a tug, make sure it's locked. Okay, at this point we can go ahead and reconnect our negative battery terminal. We'll snug that up as well, of course. Make sure that's nice and tight. 